Satire, a form of literary art that uses humour, irony and sarcasm to mock and criticise societal aspects, has been a powerful tool employed by numerous writers throughout history. Three iconic and influential authors in this realm are Oscar Wilde, Evelyn Waugh and Muriel Spark. Each of them has left an indelible mark on the genre, bringing their distinct perspectives and techniques to satirical literature. Collectively, they have not only crafted works that entertained audiences, but also provoked them to ponder deeper societal issues. This essay will explore the impact of Wilde, War and Spark on satire and their contributions to the genre. One of the most renowned figures in satirical literature, Oscar Wilde demonstrated his proficiency in mocking the social conventions and hypocrisy of Victorian society. A prime example of this is evident in his play The Importance of Being Earnest. Through clever wit and humorous dialogue, Wilde exposes the superficiality and pretentiousness of the upper classes. The characters in the play, with their witty repartee and outrageous situations, serve as vehicles for Wilde to critique the societal norms of the time. By demonstrating the absurdity of certain societal expectations, Wilde forces his audience to question the merits of traditions and examine the hypocrisy prevalent in their own lives. Furthermore, in his novel The Picture of Dorian Gray, Wilde delves into the vices and decadence of society, using the allegorical figure of the eternally youthful Dorian Gray to comment on the hollowness of aestheticism. Through Wilde's biting satire, readers are compelled to reflect on the dangers of valuing appearances over substance, a theme that is still relevant today. Similarly, Evelyn Waugh made a significant impact on satire through his incisive examination of British society in the early 20th century. Waugh's novel, Decline and Fall, showcases his skill in ridiculing the British upper class and the educational system through dark humour and absurd situations. The protagonist, Paul Pennyfeather, becomes entangled in a series of bizarre and often humorous events, allowing Waugh to explore themes of corruption, hypocrisy, and the crumbling facade of respectability. In his later work, such as Brideshead Revisited, War turns his satirical lens towards the decline of the British aristocracy, highlighting the irrelevance and futility of their extravagant lifestyles. By portraying the flaws and failures of society, War forces readers to question the inherent values and structures of their own social order, encouraging them to seek a more authentic way of living. Lastly, Muriel Spark, while less well-known than Wilde and War, had a profound impact on satire with her novels that combine wit, social commentary, and an inherent darkness. In her most celebrated work, The Prime of Miss Jean Brodie, Spark satirises the conventional educational system and the dangers of unchecked influence. The eccentric character of Miss Jean Brodie, with her unconventional teaching methods and manipulative personality, serves as an embodiment of Spark's critique of authority figures. Through her biting satire, Spark encourages readers to question blind adherence to authority and the potential harm it can cause. This theme is also seen in her novel The Driver's Seat, where Spark tackles societal expectations of women and their repression, presenting a provocative and unsettling portrayal of female liberation. Spark's unique blend of humour and darkness challenges readers to confront uncomfortable truths and consider the consequences of societal norms and expectations. In conclusion, the impact of Wilde, War and Spark on satire cannot be overstated. Through their distinctive approaches and insightful critiques of society, these authors have left an enduring legacy in the world of literature. Wilde's wit and biting social commentary, War's incisive examinations of British society, and Spark's dark humour and exploration of authority and repression have all contributed to the evolution and advancement of satire. Their works continue to resonate with readers.